Hey, so welcome to the kitchen. So today we have an awesome recipe that is so simple to make and so nutritious compared to its animal-based counterpart. And that is a cream sauce that we're gonna make out of cauliflower, mostly. So, you know, I grew up loving fettuccine Alfredo. I think every time that I went to a restaurant through my teenage and early adult years, I would order fettuccine Alfredo, usually with some chicken in it. And so that was definitely a favorite of mine. And uh, since going plant-based, it's not something that I've had. And, you know, I really miss that creamy lusciousness of a cream sauce, but you can get it with cauliflower, believe it or not. And so it's a really great alternative to that thick, heavy, butter-filled, cream-filled Alfredo sauce that you would get in a restaurant or even that you might make for yourself at home. So today I want to share with you this really quick recipe and hopefully it's one that you can work into your life and even the kids like it. I've had my kids try this and uh, they love it. So it's a great one to, to give to the kids and you're kind of sneaking in those cruciferous vegetables that sometimes they don't really like because I know my kids do not like regular cauliflower um, just by itself. So giving them this is just a win-win all around. So what I've already done is cooked my cauliflower. I had a great big head of cauliflower, so I didn't use the full, the full thing, but I used about three quarters of it. And if you have a smaller head of cauliflower, then just go ahead and cook off the whole thing. So I just cut it up into florets. Ooh, steaming. And I cooked that in some vegetable broth and not even really enough to cover it all, but just about, just about covering it. Some of it cooks off in the process. And then also I threw in there some garlic and quite a bit. So this is a nice garlicky sauce. So I think I put about six cloves. They were kind of small, medium-ish cloves of garlic. And I threw in about a quarter of a white onion chopped up. Just cooked all of that until it was nice and soft. So everything's nice and soft. And then I'm just gonna load that all into my blender. So got my Vitamix here, which is going to just puree, puree everything up really, really nice and smooth. And if you don't have a really powerful blender, just let it run longer. You can see me through all of the steam here. <laughs> so yeah, just let it blend longer. Anytime you have a weaker blender, you know, it'll do the job. It just probably will take a little bit of extra time. So I'm getting everything in there. I'm not gonna add all of the liquid in the pot at first. I'm gonna just kind of see as I go with that. And I may need all of it, I may not, but that's why I like to use vegetable broth, so it does give some good flavor. So there we go. So I'm gonna add a little bit to get this to at least start to blend up. Maybe about a cup or so, just to start out. And I'll set that right there. And then what the other things I'm gonna put into the cauliflower cream sauce is some salt. I've got a teaspoon of salt. And then what I have here is some cashew cream that I made for a recipe yesterday. And so I figured I would use this up in my cauliflower cream sauce. All this is, is raw cashews with about enough water to cover them in the blender and pureed up until very, very smooth. So if you have a week, oh, there goes my timer for my pasta. It's gonna Turn that off and turn my pasta off. So if you have a weak blender, soak cashews ahead of time and then use them um, in your blender. I have a powerful blender, so uh, I don't need to pre-soak it, but it's, it's easy just to, to soak them ahead of time. So I did that, I mixed some cashews with water, blended it up, 
and I added about a quarter cup of nutritional yeast in here to give it kind of a cheesy flavor and I added a little bit of lemon juice to um, you know, cheese typically is tangy, so you want to look for things that are going to mimic that flavor when you're trying to make something that's like cheese. So when you're making stuff like cashew cream, um, onion powder, garlic powder, dry mustard, miso, lemon juice, those are all the flavorings that are going to make that briny, tangy flavor that cheese has. So I put some of that in there. So I'm gonna add this cashew cream. So this is where our fat's gonna come from in this sauce to make it really luscious. I added about maybe a third of a cup into there. And then I'm just gonna blend this up, taste it and see how it goes. Hmm. So that's looking good. I did add a little extra salt to it and I added the rest of my cashew cream. And now I'm just gonna put it together, show you what it looks like. So I'm just gonna grab some pasta here. So I made some brown rice pasta. And not really any particular reason why I would use brown rice over, say, a whole wheat pasta, but I do tend to like the whole grain brown rice pasta a little bit better than a whole wheat pasta. And I'm just going to pour some of my cream sauce over. So you can see this made a ton of cream sauce. So hope you're feeding a lot of people making this recipe. Of course, you could always cut it down, cut it in half. So I'm just gonna stir that in there. Pour it out on my plate. And just make it pretty with a little bit of parsley on there and we'll give it a taste. So See how creamy and delicious that looks? So creamy, it's sliding all over my plate. Mm, I'm getting a facial out of this meal. Steam coming off of here and here. Mm. Creamy, delicious, low in fat, no oil, no butter, no heavy cream. None of the stuff that comes along typically with fettuccine alfredo. Personally, I wouldn't eat just this, of course. I would need to add lots of veggies with this. I would probably add broccoli and I'd eat a great big salad with a meal like this. So, you know, just another great way to have something that is maybe familiar to you, comfort food, but in a way that's not going to damage your health and in fact is going to improve your health because anytime we can get a vegetable like cauliflower into us is is awesome so thanks for joining me today and um, I look forward to the next episode so if you like today's video give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss an episode and if you need to reach me you can find me at any of the links below so thanks for watching today I'm Carrie from plantpoweredyogi.com and this has been Plant Powered Yogi TV and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.